What's up everybody? I'm MJ and this is MJ's Tech Talk, the place where I talk tech. I'm coming at you with a new installment of Two Minute Tuesday and today I'm going to talk about a super controversial topic. What else? Mac versus PC, two minute style. Coming at you now. So I've showed you what's in my backpack, I've showed you what's in my office, and you guys all know that I'm a huge Mac enthusiast. So I'm gonna start out, just get that out there. My last two minute Tuesday, I even talked about WWDC 2019. I love the whole Mac ecosystem. Phones, watches, computers, all of the above, that's my thing. But I have a confession. I said this was gonna be controversial, and in fact it is. I'm a super Mac enthusiast with a secret PC. For professional use, my daily driver, my daily workhorse is actually the HP ZBook Studio G3. It's about a 2017 laptop. You might want to compare it to the 2017 MacBook Pro. In doing that, this starts out base price at around 1300 bucks, but um, you can get it fully loaded if you'd like. So I'm gonna read you guys the specs and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. And then I'm gonna tell you five reasons why in two minutes that I have to use a PC. A lot of folks are video editors and content creators and they're switching to PC because they feel like they can get a more powerful device. I work in the engineering field and as a daily driver, I use a PC. Now, what I use in my personal space, like my home office for, for editing my YouTube videos, is totally Mac. But in the office, which is my main job and my main responsibility, I use a PC. So I don't know if, what that means. <laughs> Macs are awesome machines. And I love how they look. They're aesthetically pleasing. They're extra awesome. But when it comes to some engineering softwares, you just might be better off with a PC. I mean, you're able to run like Windows on a Mac if you like, but I'm not sure that the infrastructure is there to support it. I'm not sure I would want to run Windows on Mac because I like the Mac ecosystem and I like Mac iOS and all the features and all the things they do. I edit using Final Cut Pro, which is a native Apple system and everything that Apple's got going on works for me creatively. So I haven't really maxed out my potential like as far as editing power and processing power because I'm very new to video editing. But there are probably some folks that have a very high workflow and a very high workload that would prefer to edit on a PC. So the HP ZBook Studio G3 it's my secret PC. This is what I use in my professional life on my nine to five on my daily work. It has an Intel Core i7 processor. It has 32 gigabytes of RAM and it has a 4K 15 inch display. So this is considered a, basically a, a workstation PC. I mean, this is for heavy duty computing power. So it's not your you know typical PC where you can do some stuff. This is a beast. It's pretty much custom built to do whatever I need it to do. I mean, aesthetically, it's pretty plain. I mean, it's just, has a bit of a design on the outside. That's the HP logo in the center. And the bottom is pretty basic. And then on the inside, there's a lot of bezels, pretty thick bezel around the screen, but it's a 15 inch display. All right, so now that you've seen a little bit of the tour. It's kind of hard to do it live from the director's chair. But without further ado, we're going to jump into the two minute portion. Two minutes starting now. Number one, the number one reason I use a PC for my professional work is for CAD design. So if you don't know about CAD, CAD is a 3D or 2D solid, mo solid modeling software that allows you to create and design models within the software. So AutoCAD, Creo, SolidWorks, those are pretty much the top ones. And um, a lot of them are able to be used on Mac 
because they have like Autodesk for Mac, Autodesk Suite for Mac, but my particular brand is SolidWorks. I really like it, I enjoy it. It works best to me on PC. Second reason why I use the PC for my professional work is PLC programming. If you don't know about PLC programming, it's basically when you're in industry and you're working with robotics and automation, you're able to use your PC to communicate with these different devices. And within that communication, you can build an infrastructure to allow these devices to perform tasks on there. I've never been able to get a PLC to run properly on a Mac. Now, with that being said, a PC in industry is important for reliability and communicating with the different softwares. Like, if I need to be able to troubleshoot something because it's my job, I need to know that my hardware and software, everything is communicated properly. So I don't want to run a VM or I don't want to run a virtual desktop and try to connect to these things. When you're in the field, when you're working, especially in a manufacturing environment when you need things to perform well and you need to be able to troubleshoot and resolve issues quickly, you don't want your hardware or your software compatibility to be a limiter and you're not getting your job done. The third reason that I use the PC for my professional work is cost. It is a lot less expensive to get a very powerful PC than it is to get a very powerful Mac. If I wanted an i7 or i9 processor, MacBook Pro, something I can use on the go, like, it's gonna cost a lot of money. Oh man. That's my time. Time's up. I didn't get to all five, but I'm not gonna cheat. I'm just gonna wrap it up. Thanks guys so much for watching. Peace. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you click subscribe, make sure you click the bell. That way you'll be notified every time I post new content. Thanks so much for watching.